A common way to represent three-dimensional structures is by using the wedge and dash sketch. I'll use the simple example of methane here. The wedge and dash model is on the left, and I've included the 3D model on the right for reference. Methane has a tetrahedral geometry, which is evident in the 3D model. We can recreate this on paper using the wedge and dash sketch. First, solid lines represent bonds in the plane. These bonds, or atoms, are neither going towards you or away from you. They are flat on your screen. The wedge represents a bond coming out of your screen and in your direction. Finally, the dashes represent bonds going away from you or into your screen. Let's look at the trigonal bipyramid and octahedral structures next. First, solid lines are bonds flat on the screen or in the plane. For the trigonal bipyramid example, you can see there are three bonds in a T-shape. There is one wedge coming out of your screen and towards you. And there's a dashed bond going out of the back of your screen away from you. For the octahedral, there are two solid lines flat on the screen. From this perspective, they are above and below the central atom in the 3D model. There are two wedges coming out of the screen and towards you, and two dash bonds going toward the back of your screen away from you.